Now the bit system we just used with our 8-bit calculator was called an unsigned bit system. Now my issue is that with an unsigned bit system you can only make positive numbers. So that's the first clue as to the difference between unsigned and signed. With our calculator example we could only make a number starting from 0 to 255. That was our range and that range is all positive numbers. But what happens when I want to actually input into my calculator a negative number? Well, that poses a new question. How do we create a negative number in binary? Well, we do it with a signed bit system. So unsigned will only let you create positive numbers. An assigned bit system allows you to make a positive or a negative number. It can do both, but unsigned can only do positive. So let's take a byte or an 8-bit system. Now we know that we have a range of numbers ranging from 1 to 128. Now the issue enters where we need to be able to sign this bit system to say whether it's positive or it's negative. So unfortunately, that means we're going to lose the most significant bit in the 8-bit system, 128. And the reason being is because now with the signed bit system, that is the assignment bit. So the bit that's on the very left is now the signed bit. And this will tell us whether we have a positive or a negative number. So you can think of this signed bit as asking a question. And it's asking the question is negative. It wants to know if what's to the right of it is going to be a negative number or is going to be a positive number. So it's either going to be zero. Now zero is the same as false. In computing zero is actually equal to false and one is equal to true. So if it's zero, it means is negative false. It's not, it's going to be a positive number. Whatever number is on the right hand side is going to be a positive number. However, if we set that signed bit to one, one is equal to true, which means that we actually want that number to be a negative number. So let's do this, let's separate that signed bit, let's just put that to the side and just take a look at the number first of all. What I want to do is I want to set all of those bits to one, I want to turn all those on from one all the way to 64. And when you add all of those numbers together from one to 64, you end up with 127. Now the signed bit is set to zero. So that means that's a positive 127. Now, if I change that signed bit to one, well, now it means that the number to the right of it is gonna be negative. So my range is from negative 127 to positive 127. So this is what I'm doing here with this signed bit. I'm simply saying the number to the right of this signed bit is either gonna be positive or negative. Zero, false, it's not going to be negative, or one, true, it is going to be negative. Now the issue with what I'm showing you here, which is called sign magnitude, where what you have is the number to the right hand side, and then the zero and the one just changes it from positive to negative. This is the most basic form of a signed bit system. It's called signed magnitude. The problem is it has an anomaly. It has a very bad form. And that is because with signed magnitude, the issue is you actually have something called negative zero. Now in mathematics, there's no such thing as negative zero. Zero is positive and it's just zero, that's it. You don't have negative zero in mathematics, so that's bad form. And so if you take a look at this bit system, signed magnitude, if you change zero and have all zeros across, that's positive zero, and all I have to do is change the signed bit to one and leave all the other bits 
at zero, and the issue is you now have negative zero. That's bad form, and that's not allowed anymore. Also, this signed bit system, signed magnitude, even though it's the simplest, it can't actually be used in the hardware for when we want to calculate, for example. For that, we had another system called one's complement. That's another type of signed bit system. However, that bit system also had an issue with negative zero. So finally, we ended up at two's complement. And that system is what is currently used as your signed bit system in your computer. It makes your processing faster. It also makes more logical sense because it gets rid of negative zero. But I've just used signed magnitude to give you a basic understanding. But what I want you to take away from the lecture is an unsigned bit system is where your bits, your base two numbers, can only produce a positive number. Whereas a signed bit system, you can create a positive or a negative number.